In today's video, we will take a look at an important concept in Spring Boot applications and which also happens to be a commonly asked interview questions nowadays. First, let us understand the problem. This is a Spring Boot project. Let's create two packages, one for service and another for its implementation. Create an interface in service package. Name it user manager. Now create its implementation. Let's say employee manager, which implements this interface. Mark it as a service so that it becomes a spring managed bean. Now create a controller class. and auto via user manager we created earlier. Run the application. The application starts normally and at runtime, this user manager reference will be injected with an object of type employee manager. Stop the application. Now, we have a new requirement where we have to manage employees on contract as well. So, we create a new class, contract employee manager which will also implement user manager. Make this also as a spring bean by adding service annotation. Run the application again. Look, it fails and the reason is that during startup, the spring container tries to inject a bean into this reference but it finds two implementations. It does not know which object or bean to inject and throws error. If you look at the error message, it says the same thing. Required a single bean but found two and these are the two beans which are candidates for injection. This is also commonly asked in interviews that if there are multiple implementations of an interface then what will happen at startup and which bean will be injected. The right answer is that the application will not start and it will fail. If you give the correct answer then there is a follow up question about how to fix this. So we will learn the answer to this question and there are three ways to solve this error. Before moving further, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss upcoming videos. The first way is using primary annotation. This annotation tells Spring Container that if there are multiple beans of the same type, then an object of this class should be preferred over others and injected into the reference. Look at its documentation which says, indicates that a bean should be given preference when multiple candidates are qualified to auto-wire a single value dependency. But Remember that there should be only one bean with primary annotation among those of same types. Save. Run the application. It starts normally and this reference will now contain an object of employee manager. Second way is using qualifier annotation. With qualifier, you can specify the name of the bean to inject. By default, bean names are class names in camel case. So, Bean name for this class will be employee manager with E in small case. Provide this name to qualifier as. You can also do this using its value attribute. Restart the application. Works. Third way is using resource annotation. Resource is same as qualifier but has a restriction that the name of reference should match the bean name. So. This name should be changed to bean name. Bean names, as I said before, are class names in camel case. Therefore, if we want to inject contract employee manager bean, then this reference variable should be named as. Start the application. It works. So, we have learned three different ways in which you can auto-wire a reference which has multiple implementations. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching.